Hey everyone, welcome again to Talkie Soba, but not with the review this time. We're going to do something a little more casual and personal. We're going to give you our top 10 favorite anime of all time. Starting off for me, number 5 is going to be Fate Zero. Now, the Fate series in general is pretty popular among anime watchers, mainly because of its unique concept of having mages summon historical figures from around the world in time in a battle royale for the Holy Grail War. Fun fact about Fate Zero, I actually started watching it the first episode when it started airing, but whenever I finished the first episode, I read some comments saying that yeah, I should probably watch the Fate Zero 2006 adaptation of it from Studio Dean. So I decided to put Fate Zero on hold and start Fate Zero 9. And while I definitely enjoyed some parts of Fate Stay Night, it definitely didn't grab me as much as I thought it was going to be, mainly because I hated the main character a lot. Now, I was a bit hesitant going into Fate Zero because of my experience with Fate Stay Night, but I was very wrong. Fate Zero blew me away in literally every single way possible. I love the characters, I love the servants, I pretty much loved everything about it. The animation blew me away, UFO Table made some movie quality stuff for this show. Along with the fact that I just personally enjoy the main character way more than I did in Fate Stay Night. And overall, it just makes a much more interesting, dark anime that you don't really see nowadays. And if you're looking for something like this, I totally would recommend it. We'll just go for my fifth favorite, K-On. And K-On is real. It's got a real simple opinion on it now. It, it was actually my number one favorite before I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is now my number one favorite. K-On is not the best anime. It's a slice of life about high school girls who start a light rock band. And that's pretty much it. It's two seasons and it's, you know, not some crazy, amazing plot or story. It's just each little episode of a bunch of girls, you know, having a fun time with their lives and their relationships. And that's the main reason I liked it, is that it was very easy watching and it was really heartwarming in a sense. K-On has good animation, really good English dub, I think. Pretty good soundtrack. The soundtrack is, of course, Japanese rock. And I actually got the soundtrack personally, and now I listen to it. It's like the only Japanese music I listen to still, because I don't like that in general. But since I watched Can and liked it, I like the soundtrack in that context. All right, number four for me is Hunter Hunter, the 2011 version. Now, Hunter Hunter generally is considered one of the best shows ever made for good reason too. Yoshiro Togashi, the manga behind Hunter Hunter, creates masterfully amazing villains that are just so good and. It just makes like every character he creates is just so interesting and unique and it's really developed. It's so much more different from a lot of other shonen shows that have some decent main characters and some decent villains, but nowhere near the level that Yoshiro Togashi makes his villains, which I actually act like villains are actually dangerous and just very much more interesting than any other villain I've seen in anime. You may think from the first couple episodes that Hunter Hunters is your average cliche shonen. However, you will soon be proven wrong as you get a bit further into it. This also helps the fact that Madhouse Studios decided to animate this show and gives a really amazing looking animation, something that is not really common when it comes to shonen shows in general. So if you're looking for a new, refreshing, dark shonen, I wholeheartedly recommend Hunter x Hunter. Now my fourth favorite anime of all time is a little known anime called Steins Gate. And this anime shares uh, one aspect with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood that made me love it so much, is the really well written story. It's not got a lot of little minor isolated arcs or filler. And this makes sense because it's adapted from a visual novel. Emphasis on the novel. And the writing and character development in Science Gate is pretty good. The show is complemented by one of the best English dubs I've ever heard. It has really, really well-placed cliffhangers at every episode. They never felt artificial. And with the intensity and mature themes, it really stuck with me. It was also sort of what we call a psychological thriller type of deal. A lot of mystery elements, but most importantly for me, is a sci-fi and it's got time travel. I don't know if you guys know, but I love time travel. But in general, I do think it's a pretty good anime. And just the, the way that it was well paced, a little bit short, but like I said, really good adaptation, good writing. I think that it makes for a pretty good anime for anyone in general to get into. Number three for me is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Full Metal is what I consider a perfect anime in probably about every single way possible. It's amazing storytelling, a great soundtrack, really fun, unique, fresh characters, and overall it's just a very satisfying journey that you don't get to see in today and what a lot of shonen that just don't end. Now, unlike every other shonen, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has amazing pacing, mainly because Studio Bones decided to adapt this when the manga was over. So it made them have more of an opportunity to actually know what the material is and pace it out accordingly. And with the 64 episodes, it did a great job, and it was just an amazing watch. I'll let my brother Nate talk about it a bit more later on in his list, so I'm done for now, but let's just say, if 
I have nostalgia purposes for number one and two. This would be my favorite anime of all time. So my third favorite anime is One Punch Man. And this is a pretty amazing shonen anime, and it's mostly a parody of shonens and the whole superhero genre in general. And it impressed me despite a really simple premise. It's just that the main character is a superhero who can be anything with just one punch. And this sort of unique aspect made for really clever, amazing writing, I think, especially in the character development and the character interactions. In addition to some of Madhouse's best animation in this anime, it just had a really outstanding comedy. And that means a lot because I watched it when it was Japanese audio with English subtitles. And despite that, I still thought it had really clever writing, really good uh, pacing, and really witty, and I thought it was pretty funny. And now that it has a dub, that's just an extra reason for any of you out there, or for any of you who have friends who don't watch anime, who might have not considered it because of subtitles, now that the dub's out, you should definitely convince them, and you should convince them by sending them a link to our One Punch Man review, which has some more details, and we critique it. But just in general, you should know that it will get you pumped and excited and laughing at the same time. Number two on the list, Prince of Tennis. Now, I know what you're thinking. Seriously, Prince of Tennis? A very weird sports show that no one likes? Well, I like it a lot, actually. Prince of Tennis, I know, is very ridiculous in a lot of ways, mainly when it comes to the player's abilities. Like, one guy can literally make you lose your senses while playing him. So it's not exactly the most realistic, amazing tennis anime you'll ever see in your life. But, for me personally, marathoning the 176 episodes of it was euphoric. It was one of my best experiences of my life. I had an absolute blast watching it. It was just so fun seeing a sports anime. It had really fun, unique characters that were in a team environment where just every character you saw from like each high school was so cool and you just wanted to like just be friends with them and like root of poor them or even sometimes against them if they were like being dicks but personally for me it was just the perfect sports anime experience I also hope that I really love the main character Ryoma who is actually my favorite anime character ever just because he's just this arrogant kind of pompous guy that because he knows he's good at tennis and he shows it a lot of the time. So for that reason, Prince of Tennis will always be one of my favorite shows ever. The fillers are really funny. This, everything about this show is just fun and enjoyable for me. It's probably the most fun I've had watching anime beyond my number one show. And it's just something that if you're looking for a sports anime that is really long, has some cool characters and you know, some interesting power-ups, I would wholeheartedly recommend Prince of Tennis. So my second favorite anime of all time is Samurai Champloo. And I like this anime for a lot of the reasons I don't like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but just to a lesser degree for Champloo. The story is great with a good overarching plot, but unlike the really, really well paced out writing of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Samurai Champloo is split up into a lot of isolated episodes and minor arcs. It's not just the best, but it's still pretty good. Not every episode fully contributes to the fulfilling journey like in Full Metal Alchemist. I consider the animation in Samurai Champloo really good, but I, most importantly, I enjoy the amazing soundtrack, which just also happens to be my second favorite soundtrack, second to Film and Alchemist Brotherhood, in fact. And I think there's a lot of clashing styles that come together to make something truly unique that I just felt was something I hadn't seen before and really impressed me. I like this for a lot of the same reasons as Cowboy Bebop, but when I liked Cowboy Bebop, I thought it was good from an artistic perspective. I thought this is just a good artistic masterpiece that everyone should watch and appreciate. But when I watched Samurai Champloo, I was like, this is just more fun. This is just cooler. And this is just something that appealed to me personally. Probably the hip-hop soundtrack is what really sold me. But I think that overall, since it has a really good English dub, it's one of the best uh, animes for newcomers. And obviously, it's been airing on Toonami reruns for a while. And I think this is a good recommendation. And of course, we got a review for it. So if you want to see our in-depth critique, you can just click the link. Number one for me is One Piece. Now, One Piece will always be my favorite anime no matter what happens in my life. It's going to be the first show I show to my future kids, and it's going to be something that I will always hold dear to my heart. One Piece is a very simple story about a guy named Monkey D. Luffy who wants to find the treasure known as One Piece. Now, you may not think this might be the best show of all time from that synopsis, but you're mistaken. It's a pretty amazing journey with absurdly great characters that just make you fall in love with them immediately, has some really good solid villains that you just can't hate but just hate them, and this has some really cool, unique fights, especially because the devil for abilities in the show. Personally, for me, One Piece will always be remembered. I decided to marathon all 500 episodes whenever they were out, and like Prince of Tennis, it was just an amazing experience. It was just it was like just learning how to enjoy your life again, and it does change a lot how I felt about anime and shonen in general. Where I just thought One Piece just impressed me so much with 
how it is characters, how it is story, how even the manga Oda, he would reference like stuff you would see like from all the way back then a couple episodes ago. So he always knew what he was doing. It wasn't like he was just bullshitting, you know? He planned everything out and it still blows me away today. And I really think that without One Piece, I probably wouldn't be as into anime as I am today. So I owe a lot of it to One Piece. And, you know, no matter what, it'll always be my favorite. All right, here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. My number one favorite anime is... I've already said it. It's Fulminama's Brotherhood, of course. And it's a show that, like I said, we are going to review. I finished it recently, and I'm waiting on Malesh. Like Malesh said, actually, I think this is the perfect anime. In addition to being my personal favorite... I just genuinely think it is all around in every aspect, every category, basically perfect. And I can't sing its praises enough, and you'll see when we do our final review. Um, it's really, truly amazing. Everyone should watch it, especially first-time anime watchers, because it has what I consider the best dub, even better than Cowboy Bebop and Fully Cooly. The show is a little bit lengthy, it has 64 episodes in full, but not even a little bit of filler. Nothing is ever drawn out. It's adapted from a manga, and I haven't read the manga personally, but I'm assuming the manga must be great because the writing in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is basically some of the best pacing, the best story development, best character development and interactions. It's got a really amazing overarching story, and it's not full of little isolated episodic moments. They do have, you know, they get to this part, they get to that part, and there's minor arcs, but it's all really, really, really well tied together. And it just doesn't stop and go. You really feel it from the first episode to the last. One long, continuous, very mentally fulfilling journey. And I'll actually say that, kind of like Science Gate, every single episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, when it ended, I was dying to watch the next. Some of them were even cliffhangers. Sometimes they completed a full thought and they were like, all right, they won't go there next time. And I was like, I have to know because the pacing was literally the best. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was actually so good and it made me feel so many things that I had to look at anime differently. The lore building just really clicked in every part of my brain and just maybe see anime that I didn't think could be this good. I didn't think it could go this deep and be this mentally fulfilling. It was a journey. So all in all, that's about it. I mean, I really just told you I loved it so much. If you want to watch our actual critique and our review of why it's so good in every aspect, you'll have to watch our review. I'll put up some annotations somewhere here when we actually publish it, eventually. It's on Crunchyroll. You can watch it free with ads. You gotta tell everybody to watch Full Metal with Brotherhood. Don't even wait for our review. <laughs> tell everyone to watch it. It's great. Thanks for watching our top 10, and we will see you guys eventually with that Full Metal with Brotherhood review. Ciao.